Section 1. Why are intros so darn important anyway? Ever clicked on a YouTube video only to leave seconds later because it bored you to tears? We've all been there. It's frustrating, right? You were looking for something engaging, something that would capture your interest immediately, but instead you found yourself yawning and clicking away. Intros are your first impression, your chance to grab viewers by the eyeballs and scream, this is worth your time. It's like the opening line of a book or the first scene of a movie. If it doesn't hook you, you're likely to move on to something else. A killer intro can be the difference between a viral sensation and a video lost in the abyss. Think about it. Those first few seconds can determine whether your video gets shared, liked and commented on, or if it just fades into obscurity. So how important are intros? Well, they're not just important, they're essential. They are the gateway to your content, the hook that keeps viewers from clicking away. They set the stage, build anticipation and tell viewers what they're in for. A well-crafted intro can make your audience excited about what's coming next. Without a strong intro, you risk losing your audience before they even give your content a chance. It's like inviting someone to a party and then ignoring them at the door. Want to keep viewers hooked? Then you need to craft intros that are as captivating as the content they introduce. Make them count. Think of your intro as a promise to your viewers, a promise that what follows will be worth their time. Want to keep viewers hooked? Then you need to craft intros that are as captivating as the content they introduce. Make them count. Think of your intro as a promise to your viewers, a promise that what follows will be worth their time. Craft intros that are as captivating as the content they introduce. Make them count. Think about your favorite YouTube videos. What grabs your attention right from the start? Is it the music, the visuals, the energy of the presenter? Think about your favorite YouTube videos. What grabs your attention right from the start? Is it the music, the visuals, the energy of the presenter? All these elements come together to create an engaging intro that makes you want to keep watching. Share your thoughts in the comments. What makes an intro stand out to you? Let's discuss and learn from each other. After all, a great intro is the first step to creating content that resonates with your audience. Section 2. What's the magic formula to keep viewers hooked? The secret source to a captivating intro. It's all about grabbing attention right from the start. It's all about understanding your audience and giving them what they crave. Dive deep into their preferences and habits. Think about what would make you click that watch button and keep watching. What elements make a video irresistible to you? Start by identifying your target audience. What are their interests? What kind of content do they consume the most? What problems do they face that your video can solve? Addressing their pain points can make your content invaluable. Once you know who you're talking to, you can tailor your intro to resonate with them. Craft your message to speak directly to their needs and desires. Remember, you have mere seconds to make an impact. The first few moments are crucial in retaining viewer interest. So cut to the chase, pique their interest and leave them wanting more. Use hooks, questions, or intriguing statements. Think about your own viewing habits. What makes you stay on a video rather than clicking away? What type of intros instantly grab your attention? Is it the energy, the visuals, or the promise of valuable content? Let's discuss in the comments. Share your thoughts and experiences on what makes an intro truly captivating. Section 3. How can I make my intro stand out from the crowd? Let's face it, the YouTube Osphere is a crowded place. To stand out, your intros need to be more than just an afterthought, they need to be mini masterpieces. Think outside the box. Don't be afraid to experiment with different styles, visuals and sounds. How can you introduce your video's theme in a way that's unexpected and attention-grabbing? Remember, your intro is a promise to your viewers. It's a promise of value, entertainment or enlightenment. Make sure you deliver. What are some of the most creative YouTube intros you've seen? Share your favorites in the comments. Section 4. Got any real-world examples of intros that really work? Let's get inspired. One YouTuber known for their engaging intros is Casey Neistat. His intros are like mini-movies, with fast-paced editing, 
compelling music, and a sense of adventure that immediately draws you in. Another great example is Marcus Brownlee, also known as MKBHD. His intros are sleek, stylish, and instantly recognizable thanks to his signature intro sequence and music. What these YouTubers have in common is that their intros are authentic to their brands and create a sense of anticipation for the content to come. What other YouTubers do you think have nailed the art of the intro? Let's discuss in the comments. Section 5. How long should my intro be? Ah, the eternal question, how long is too long? The ideal intro length is like a unicorn. Magical but elusive. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but as a general rule of thumb, keep it short and sweet. Aim for 5 to 10 seconds for most videos. If you have a complex topic or a longer video, you might be able to stretch it to 15 seconds. But remember, every second counts. Don't waste precious time with unnecessary fluff. Get to the point and leave viewers wanting more. What's your sweet spot for intro length? Share your thoughts in the comments. Section 6. What about music and sound effects? Music and sound effects can be the secret source that elevates your intros from good to unforgettable. The right track can set the mood, build excitement, and make your content more engaging. Choose music that's relevant to your brand and the tone of your video. Upbeat and energetic for a vlog or something more cinematic for a travel video. You got it. But remember, copyright laws are a thing. Use royalty-free music or make sure you have the rights to use the tunes you choose. What are some of your favorite royalty-free music resources? Share them in the comments. Section 7. Can I use humor in my intros? A little laughter can go a long way. Humor is a fantastic way to connect with your audience, make them feel at ease, and leave them wanting more. A well-placed joke, a funny anecdote, or even just a silly voiceover can make your intro more memorable. But remember, humor is subjective. Make sure your jokes land with your target audience and align with your brand's voice. Have you seen any YouTube intros that made you laugh out loud? Share them in the comments. Section 8. Should I tease what's coming up in the video? Absolutely. Think of your intro as a movie trailer. You want to give viewers a glimpse of the good stuff to come without giving away the whole plot. Highlight the key takeaways, the most exciting moments, or the problems your video will solve. Keep it concise and intriguing, leaving viewers eager to hit that play button. What are some creative ways to tease upcoming content in your intros? Let's brainstorm in the comments. Section 9. Any other secret source to make my intros pop? The best intros are more than just introductions, they're an art form. Here are a few more tips to make yours stand out. 1. Keep it visually appealing. Use high-quality footage, eye-catching graphics, and a consistent style that aligns with your brand. 2. Don't be afraid to experiment. Try different editing techniques, pacing, and visual effects to find what works best for you. 3. Most importantly, be yourself. Let your personality shine through and connect with your audience authentically. What other tips do you have for creating amazing intros? Share your wisdom in the comments. Section 10. Help me out. Give me some actionable tips. Ready to take your intros from May to Marvelous? Whether you're a seasoned content creator or just starting out, a strong intro can make all the difference. Here are some actionable tips to get you started. 1. Start with a bang. Grab attention from the first frame with a captivating visual, a provocative question, or a surprising statement. This sets the tone and hooks your audience right away. 2. Keep it concise. Get to the point quickly and don't waste time with unnecessary fluff. Your audience's time is valuable, so make every second count. 3. End with a hook. Leave viewers wanting more by teasing what's to come or asking a question that encourages them to keep watching. This keeps them engaged and eager for your next segment. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you experiment with different intro styles, the better you'll become at crafting ones that captivate your audience. Don't be afraid to try new things and see what resonates. What intro techniques are you excited to try out? Are there any specific styles or elements that you think will work best for your content? Let me know in the comments. Your feedback and ideas are always welcome, and I'm excited to see what you come up with. 
Section 11, ready to create intro magic? Let's go. Creating captivating intros is an ongoing journey of experimentation and creativity. By understanding your